Well, we're here at the CCA workbench, and Dave, you know, rigs and techniques is something we do every week. Yes, sir. And certainly tonight. It's tarpon time, and you're the tarpon king. You caught how many tarpon today? Seven. That's pretty good. Yeah, man. You know, most of the time people talk about tarpon, they talk about how many they jumped off. Right. Not how many they caught. So that was, you did pretty dang good. But you know what? Since circle hooks, our catch ratio has gone to 75%. And that's amazing. Yeah. And that's amazing. And, and, you know, they work that way on all fish. I'll right. be honest with you. There's very few fish that you don't want to turn to the circle hook to catch. Um, what we have here in this bucket is a lot of different kinds of baits for the tarpon. We got three different kinds. We got a mullet and the crab and some bigger, bigger shrimp. And we like to go through them here and, and show you guys right. how you rig each different one. Are you going to be able to catch that mullet? He's a little peaked now, isn't he? He's not peeking. I just went in there and slid it. All right, so Dave, on the mullet, I think one of the most important things is you got to have a circle hook with a big gap. A wide gap, for sure. This is a small mullet in, mm -hmm. in some cases. It's not a finger mullet, obviously. A this would be a, a, good, a good size mullet to use. But we're going to go simply in his mouth, Dave, like so inside the mouth and then right there where the tops of his cheeks come together inside his mouth they actually comes to a v and we're going to just take the circle hook and pop it out the top of his head oh boy and now what ends up happening he can breathe he can close his mouth he can still flex his gills but more importantly we have a big gap so that when the tarpon comes up and eats him now we're going to drop back like you would do on a sailfish when you're it live bait fitty, fishing, yeah, well, we got to want it in his back, in his mouth, so right. that when we do go to hook him, it actually works really well. 9.0 is the size that I use. This is the 7385 VMC Coastal Black Cook. Right. Now, crabs are a whole nother situation. So if you grab me a crab, we want to use a 6.0 or a 7.0. Again, 7385 And that's VMC. about the size crab you're going to be using there? This is or? a perfect size crab, a little bit bigger than the permit size. The permit size, I learned this from my friend Mark Kroka, is the size that fits right here inside your hand like that. So that size or a little bigger is going to be good for tarpon because so many times you might be casting to a rolling fish. So you're going to want something. But where we hook him, regardless of whether you're fishing him under a cork, or whether you're sight fishing with a crab, throwing in the schools of fish. We're gonna work this into the corner. All right, We're there. gonna break it out just like that. And when the, he eats, just simply reel. Right. Don't set the hook. <laughs> Look a at lot of people do that. There. Now, we use a cork also for if you're gonna use a pinfish, the same rig. The difference is the cork you're gonna keep the pinfish from getting into the bottom. That's what that does. And a pinfish, you hook him in the shoulder and he's gonna be digging, trying to get to the bottom because he doesn't like being down there. Do you, now, when you're, when you're fishing those crabs, there are, how long do you let them free line out? I mean, you just, do you keep re letting it out and then reel it back up? Live bait fishing for a tarpon, Dave. The way I say, the way I like it is to keep your fish constantly traveling. So on this Akuma, I'm going to leave the bale open. I'm going to slowly feed line out. I'm anchored or I'm drifting, but I'm going down current in most cases. He's a traveling salesman, whether it's a pinfish, a crab, a mullet. As long as he's traveling, he's selling. Right. As soon as you stop him and you close the bale, he's only selling in a 10 foot area. Now, one other way that we fish for tarpon is we use a jig in the winter time, like in government cut or some of the channels in the back and country. And a big shrimp. Big shrimp, like so. And you're gonna come basically in the shrimp's mouth. Don't go into the black spots because that's his the brain. brain area. Go in his mouth and then pop it out of the top of his head like so. Now he can actually swim with the jig head, like this VMC boxer jig, he swims normal. And you know what I mean? It's like yeah, what yeah. they referred to in the old days as like being a troll right. He trolls, trolls right. at the right level. You're gonna use 40 to 60 pound. If you're fishing around the channels in the Florida Keys. Mono leader. Yeah, floral carbon leader. If you're fishing in the Florida Keys and it's really clear and it's yeah. calm, 
You got to downsize, but the beauty of the circle hook is it's going to hook him and it's going to be outside and most of the yeah, time. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it chafing off. Yeah, because you're not rubbing on the leader. Right. Man, that was some good work, Dave. Thank I you so much. I didn't do nothing. You did it all. I like that. We need <laughs> to do know. this again. Man, you want to talk I'm about winding a man up and turning him loose? <laughs> tarpon. Wow. Thank you. I'm Just so say excited. tarpon. I've never heard Dave so it's like quiet me, it's like over me going there. squirrel to my dog. All right, now Get the squirrel. Get it out, Dave. Are you okay?